know what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rip the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at TheHellblaze.com. 100% all-natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfellow sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, or Dennis Ugas reveals that he did have a bicep injury despite PBC line. This manager, Luis DeCuba, saying that he didn't. Let's talk about it. The thumbs up, share the bell, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, I like to get them videos out the way on a Friday. All right, so... Uh, All right, so he's or this who got reveals he injured his bicep three weeks before the Pacquiao fight. Okay, um, he said who got confirmed while live on Instagram page he was indeed injured going into the Manny Pacquiao fight. If you speak Spanish, here you go. <laughs> So he exactly said, I quote, I injured my bicep three weeks ago during the sparring. I wasn't scheduled to fight Pacquiao yet. I continued to train, training, but uh, I did stop sparring. So that's what he said. So basically he wasn't sparring leading up to the Pacquiao fight. You know, so he said that, uh, you know, that's what exactly what he said. And, you know, most people figured it out. Um, he said, you know, after the fight, it became a topic of no discussion. You know, that's what it became. It became a non-topic. He was basically seeing people saying, like, you know, he, you know, he wasn't injured after all. The people forgot about it. I mean, by the time we got to the second or third round, I think people was assured that it was okay. People said, well, how did he keep going? You know, for the most part, he kept going because shot. Okay, remember uh, Floyd Mayweather denied Manny Pacquiao from taking the pain shot for his shoulder, you know, before the fight. And it was the other, you know, fighters. I guess the other fighter had had an uh, opportunity to deny him. I guess Ugas could have still said, say, you know what, if I don't get this shot, I'm not going to fight. So Ugas had that trump card and Pacquiao needed his bread. And obviously, I know Pacquiao, which he said. No, he wish he said no, and he walked away. But Ugas, you know, Pacquiao made excuses. It's hot outside today. Still, he said, "I know Pacquiao missed me." Oh my leg! Oh my calf! Oh my ankle! In my foot, <laughs> you know. But he historically, after every loss he had, you know, for the most part, the one since he came over here, everybody knew he made excuses. And I see people comparing it to Wilder. Wilder made some crazy excuses. So, but it is a double standard. Wilder made some wild ass excuses. Oh, a nigga put a cocaine in my damn bottle and he massaged my legs like Thomas Hearns before the Agla fight. They didn't work. My Magula Abundada was hurt. My pinky toe was hurt. My pinky, my index finger, brother, was hurt. And my spiritual mind from Manny Pacquiao mom putting an anti African American potion on my temple stopped me. From tapping into my ancestry to get my powers for my great 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 grandfathers when they came from the great country of Zimbabwe from the great continent my brother of Africa now when she blocked off my telepathical powers to my ancestral background to my great 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 it stopped me it deterred me it paused me it froze me from fighting and reaching my black potential in that ring, my brother. Now, red fish, blue fish, red pill, blue pill. You know, he was on that type of shit, man. He was saying some wild shit. I said, man, is this Damon Wayans? In living color? So, y'all, like, eh, okay, what the nigga saying? Red fish, blue fish, my brother, Nick Pack Paddywhack. So, wow, you gotta admit, even the, the hardcore, the hardest water fans, you gotta admit that, uh, you gotta admit that, uh, you know, he was pretty eccentric and exaggerating and just playing out lying about those injuries. That's just what it was, man. And um, so cool. I mean, Ugas actually had to search her uh, bicep. He beat Pacquiao her bicep. When you take them pain injections, you know, you don't feel the pain. So you could be doing more structural damage to it. So, I mean, U Ugas can be out for a while. I mean... 
Hold on. Yeah, he might have to go through, uh... He may have to go through, uh... You know, he might have to go through uh, surgery and therapy or whatever. They said basically recover from a bicep tendon, tendonitis, or whatever the fuck it is. It's a long process. It involves rest, wearing a sling, and physical therapy. Most people have a functional range of motion and adequate strength by four to six months after surgery. So he got four to six months to heal. So he may he may sit out for a while. So he may he may offer surgery. I don't know if you can do a. Uh, you know, I don't know if you can avoid surgery with a torn bicep, but when you take them shots, that really, uh, sometimes you take it too much, or sometimes you can have structural damage that could worsen a tear or injury. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, so, I don't know. And so what happens if I, if I don't have surgery? Well, when you're tear your bicep tendon at the elbow, your mu your arm muscles will compensate. So you still have full range of motion. However, your arm will most likely lose strength if the tendon doesn't repair. So for the most part, it seems like you got to have that surgery. You know what I mean? He might as well go ahead and have it. By the time he comes back, he can fight Pacquiao. He can tune up. And then he can go into fighting the Spence fight. So, let's say he out for the next, he can be out for the next 8 to 10 or 12 months. They say 4 to 6 months until, you know, until after people start really kind of getting to their real strength. To be honest, but you know, to be honest, if he had that surgery, he might not be back until uh, 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 Earl Spence fight his back. Earl Spence come back. So, you know, it's perfect for PBC. They may, depending on what type of uh, injury he had in his bicep, he may out be out the next 8 to 12 months. So, they're going to hold that division up. Ugas could be out with a with a bicep. Him and Spence can come back next summer, or next fall, or next winter, and do it again. PB Al Heyman had a horse in this division since Andre Burton was fighting. He had a horse in this division for a long time, and he ain't never unified all the titles. So this is perfect for PBC. They gonna hold this shit up. Put your hands up. This is a stick up. Like, Damn again. PBC keeps sticking up this division, and that's to me that shit. You know, to the fans, it's unfair, but I really don't expect nothing more. They could have been unified and consolidated this division of one champion. But all of a sudden, Al Heyman don't want to work with nobody. And that's why Al Heyman ain't making no money, because he don't know how to build no stars. He don't know how to, he don't know how, he don't know shit about boxing. His whole, where did Tim Smith come from? What the fuck he know about building us? They know nothing. You know, he knows nothing about, none of them know nothing. None of them know nothing. I don't even know their background. They just a whole bunch of old motherfuckers that's holding the division. You know, he the VP of the communication for for PBC. He don't know shit about boxing. He learning on the job. All of them learning on the job. And Floyd, this whole thing is to uh to keep the Detroit boxing so nobody be better than him. I ain't stupid. I peep game. Y'all just don't peep the game. I see the overplay for the underplay. No, and um, that's it. So at the end of the day, you can see Ugas and Spence fighting next. So like I said before, unless Ugas, unless the injury wasn't that bad, he didn't reveal what the injury was. It was a torn bicep, you know. So he said he had an injured bicep. So what do he have? A lot of people, a lot of people say it's a tear. If you look it up, it, it, it like it's a tear. So um. They said the left box that looks visibly swollen, but that way I bunched up in a pop pop manner, which is also often a sign when an athlete suffers, suffers a torn and detached bicep. So he might be gone until Spence come back. So that's a perfect story, PBC. Like I said before, they're going to avoid Crawford. Honestly, it ain't too much you can do about it. Um, for the most part, it's a wrap. You gonna see these niggas next summer or next fall, next summer. Not this coming uh, fall or winter. You gonna see the reason. You ain't gonna see these dudes for a long time. That's what PBC playing. And if he do come back, he come back worse. Packy, y'all ain't gonna be till next summer fall. They say four to six months until you start after surgery until you start the gain strength. You know. So let's say okay, 
uh, September, October, November, December, January, February. All right. Then you got, uh, that's just when you start to get range. You know, then you're talking about, you know, then you're talking about like getting, like getting, getting comfortable. So two, three months getting comfortable, March, April, May, and then you're talking about him coming back and doing an eight-week camp. Uh, June, July. So yeah, him and Pacquiao can fight next summer, depending if everything go all right. And he come back and fight Spence. You know? you know, PBC specialized, my brother, in the intrusion of the eclipse of the lips of boxing, my brother. So that is what it is. So hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. All my social media subscription, Twitter's the fastest way, then Facebook and Instagram, Facebook group link there as well too. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three, Venmo CJ Good three one three, PayPal link in the description. I appreciate everybody the financial donation. If you can't financially donate, the best way to donate thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love, support. One time for one time, peace. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. You right there watching this video, waiting for this live stream to start, or just watching the membership video, man, and why you should join the membership. Let's talk about it real quick, expeditiously. Um, we got the three levels. You got the rookie level. You got loyalty badges. You got custom emoji badges. And you have members on the live stream. As we get more people flowing in uh, to join the membership, I have members only live chat. That means everybody can see the video. They want to see the video, but only members will be able to chat. That's three dollars a rookie. Dog star. You get personal shout outs before the videos. Maybe after the video. Mostly likely before the videos. Um, you give a priority to reply in the chat. Uh, so. As soon as I see you, I reply before anybody else. Get early access to pretty much all my non-boxing videos um, there, $10 a month. Then we got the Boxing Pound for Pound Superstar for all my boxing boys and, and gals out there. Get early access to prediction and most of our boxing content, virtual video collaborations and open debate. So, you know, if you want to pre-record or go live and debate me for a whole video, you got you. you got early access to new videos, some of the videos in the All-Stars world too. And priority reply in the comments. So I see in the comments you get priority reply. No instantly that's twenty dollars a month. So uh, let me know what you guys do what you think. Don't have a Patreon no more. So here's where you're gonna get some of that exclusive content I used to have on the Patreon. Peace.